The worst case scenario was drowning. The worst case scenario was dying. My life is super ordinary, actually. I mean, on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm, I'm your everyday dad. I wake up, I, I get my kids ready for school, I drop them off, I train, I surf. Every now and then, when the surf forecast looks crazy and there's a giant blob on the map, everything changes. It's like I have a split personality. You know, then I break out the big boards and all the bags get packed and I'm geeking out on the internet making sure the waves are gonna be enormous. And I go from like this typical dad to big wave surfer guy and it's like I'm leading a double life. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, early in the morning here on Maui. We're just about to launch the skis for a day at Jaws. It, it is super daunting when you paddle out there and want to get a really big wave, and, and so to pull it off is kind of the ultimate. To ride a giant wave, it's a, it's a series of emotions and a, and, a, and a series of stages for me. Like, I, I go through the, you know, the nervousness and anxiety, and then the wave comes in, and, and then you get this overwhelming emotion of just being completely focused and in that moment. As soon as I get to my feet on a big wave, all my emotions just melt away. I can hear no sound, I can feel nothing. I have this really narrow focus, and all I want to do is succeed in riding that wave successfully. And then at the end of the wave, I'm overcome by a rush of excitement and exhilaration. It almost feels at times like it's trying to kill you, and, and to be able to escape that is, is uh, exciting. It's hard to put into words how violent the wipeouts are in big waves. There's so much water, there's so much kinetic energy coming down on your head, taking you over the falls, sucking you over the falls, like going over a massive waterfall. It'll smear you on the reef and drag you across and then your leash will break and then you'll have no flotation and you'll be struggling and running out of breath and it, it is uh, it's downright terrifying. I'm pretty dizzy right now. I just had a horrible wipeout and I held under for a really long time. Got my clock clean pretty good. On the wipeout, my my board hit hit my chin. I don't know, I don't know if there, it's, it feels like there's a cut there, but it was a bad wipeout for sure. The future of big wave surfing, I think, is it's up to the young guys. I think the whole direction of where it's going and the potential of big wave surfing, it's all up to guys like John John, some of the younger guys that surf Jaws. At all these big wave spots, there's all these young guys coming up. And I really think it's up to them to step their game up and take it to where they want to go. When I think about what I'm really meant to do, riding big waves is definitely, is definitely it.